Link 2012. Filling in a lot of this was a pain, because the version of this map had entire chunks where the sand was of a, of a data value that didn't exist, so you couldn't actually uh, use it. It didn't actually exist. <laughs> yeah, basically that. <laughs> Um, which made it difficult for me because I had to go in an MC edit before anything else and replace all of the different blocks that didn't exist. I think it was sand and stone. Sand and stone had problems. Oh, come on. Oops. Oh, good. I do have my pants. And then once I did that, I still had to add a layer of bedrock below everything to make sure that players wouldn't fall down if too much got exploded or destroyed. So this ship right here looks like fun. And since we have... Oh boy. Yeah, get up onto the... Onto the... <laughs> into the air. So if you go under them, they don't, they don't really hurt you, which is nice. Keyword if. All right. I think we should drink some potions before heading on to there. Let's drop by this buoy or boy. I can't remember how you pronounce it. I'll be honest with you. It was so hard figuring out what to look up for these things. Because I didn't know the name of them. And... So, I, I was looking at, you know, like, Ocean Lantern thing, you know. <laughs> I, I spent probably 30 minutes figuring out what these things were actually called. Just so that way I could get the name right for, um... Because there's an armor stand right here. To get the right name for that armor stand. Also to find a good design. To see what they actually look like. I guess we really don't need a speed potion because we're already mega fast. We do have regen 3 still from that beastly potion, which is nice. I'm pretty happy about that. Right, just light everything up. Ah! No! No! <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things that play around with you in this, this area. This area probably has some of my favorite mobs. They've all got their own weaknesses. They've all got their own special abilities. They've all got their crazy aesthetics. Uh, so you see how, uh, like, the confusions um, go uh, go upside down. I wanted to utilize the dinner, dinner bone somehow. <laughs> okay. All right, can we get up there? We do have to get up there, probably. Oh, no, glitches. So these guys, they will... They are completely immobile half the time. But then the other half of the time, they will zip around. Or actually, it's not even half the time. Uh, so I wanted some mobs that moved interestingly. The AI we currently have with mobs is very, very limited. So the best I could come up with... Why do I have mining fatigue all of a sudden? Oh yeah, the zombies... The errors give you mining fatigue if you get hit by them. Um, so the way I, I did that here was... So that way... The glitches would... How do I put it? Be, not move at all for some of the time, but then other parts of the time they move like crazy. So sort of zip towards you. So you need to be really cautious around them. Steps are their weakness. Because it's very difficult for them to... Ah, die skeleton. Uh, climb and descend things. These guys... I know there's spawners in there, I just don't want to take care of them. Okay, no chest up there. No chest up there. 
Yeah, we really should have an axe right now. Would be optimal. I do want to check to see just if there's any unique papers. Okay, good. Let's go beneath the ship. I don't know if you can in here. But we can mine it under, certainly. See if there's anything. Sort of looks like there's something. But it's difficult to tell. Yeah, the ship is just too small. Alright, well that ship is conquered, which is nice. Gotta keep our eye out for everything though. Oh man. Yeah. And as you can see, these guys all have their unique particle effects. These guys have little green stuff going on. Sea urchins don't really have anything. Alrighty. Get some XP bottles. We can probably go put a lot of this away now. However, I do want to keep... So we have the strength. I do want to check out this area. I'm pretty sure there's an emerald over here. There's also a really cool thing that happens. This is the laggiest area, by the way, right here. Because it's so close to the spawn chunks. So that was the, the issue with this area, was that it was too close to the spawn chunks. So it was loading the redstone, and, you know, having it actually loaded is an issue. Oh, there's all sorts of lag. Alright. Perfect. Let's go ahead and try to conquer this bit now. It's, now it's half lit up, and uh, we have... Strength potions and whatnot. Oh, there's a, there is a chest over here. As it turns out, I was not expecting that. Yeah, as you can tell. Really, really laggy in here. And to be completely honest with you, we are sending natural spawns elsewhere by lighting this up. So maybe it's not a great idea to light it up. Anyway, let's just grab this chest. Very interesting pattern. Oh, he dropped some boots. Nope, just boots. Sometimes they have cool stuff on them. So I believe this was a reference to uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, I want those. And I actually want to see if this is just a yeah, just mirror. How about this thing? Or Jack Sparrow has a, a secret liquor hideout or booze hideout i don't know <laughs> alcohol <laughs> and this thing has this thing will activate redstone so it'll say error and then big explosion and you look up and everything is on fire i'm very thankful that that explosion didn't do too much Getting this explosion right was so hard. I had to make so many backups to get this properly. Uh, but essentially, this is a fireball. And the fireball just has a huge, huge explosion radius. So it just decimates this entire area. Which is pretty fun, to be honest with you. I mean, you look over here, like some of the rays. Because explosions shoot out rays, really. They don't... It, it's really hard to mimic actual explosions, so that's how I do it here in Minecraft. Yeah, now we're getting even more lag thanks to that. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know, I can't remember if there's anything up there. There might be though. I know that there's, ooh, look at that. You see that little light right there? That probably means something. Yeah, you see that? You see that? That is something. We can't get up there easily. Probably the best method would be to use the charisma of levitation. 
we really need that, to be honest. Like, if I'm going to get anything, that's going to be it. Okay. We really should come from up top. Actually, let's get onto, onto this tree. I think that'll be helpful. Ah! All right, we're just going to waste all our blocks. Actually, let's go ahead and use um, wood here in a second. Where is it at? Right there. Okay, perfect. Nice. Wood. I'm sure this is going to be something good. As all my secrets are pretty good. I mean, this is hard to hard to see. You only notice it. This is why you have to look around. <laughs> Anyways, you break this glass to get in. You go ahead and get up. And then this is this is it. There wasn't gravel up there. I thought there was gravel up there. But anyways, this is a mithril set, which is actually really good. This gives you minus 5% max health. It has an unbreakable chest piece, and it gives you resistance too. So that's really, really cool. We're going to take that for sure. And if we use a diamond set, this would be wise. Although, you do miss out on the legendary bonuses, so I don't know. Because <laughs> you miss out on this much health, which I'm sure is worth a resistance. Um, and then, of course, you miss out on things like angelic feet. So It's a nice set, but it's not... We're not going to use it, probably. Actually, you know what? Since we're up here, we might as well mine to the top and see if there's anything... I hear fire from the explosion. Right. Yeah, I know I'm wasting my pickaxe. We got plenty of uses on it, so that's okay. And of course, we have other pickaxes that are nearly as powerful. All right. Anyways, we can get a good view of everything from here. Doesn't look like there's much right here. Let's continue. Oh, there's a really convenient path that goes through here. That's nice. Nothing too interesting, though. I can't remember what the spiders do. I know the spiders have something. I'm not sure what. So where could we go next? We could take down this little portion right here. We could probably light a lot of this on fire and take it down, make it a lot easier to get around. I do want to check out this place. This place is pretty big though. And we are running low on strength, so we should just go to somewhere close. Like this right here. Alright, goodbye errors. Wonderful. All right. Here, another purple mist. Interesting pattern. See, that's the only issue, is that if you go too fast, even if you do go through the whole area, you do miss out on looking at chests, which do each have their own thing. Oh, okay, so since there's, so I was wondering why this glass was dropping. Since there's lag, if you break it, and then it takes a little while, and you switch to another item, the effect of the item in your hand applies. It's the same thing with looting. So if you shoot something with a looting bow, it actually does drop stuff. So if, Or if you, shoot, if you kill something with a potion and then quickly switch to a looting item, you'll get the loot that you normally would from uh, the looting item. So that's very useful if you're trying to kill lots and lots at once. And get the loot. I used to do that in uh, with farming. Oh, what's this? This is interesting. Because you get a lot more out of it if you kill them all like that. Because it, it, it wastes a lot of durability on your sword. 
to kill each of them individually. Okay, come on. Very good. One more spawner taken down. One more chest conquered. With an interesting pattern. I'm going to say that a lot here. Hmm. The interesting thing about the boys, I'm just going to call them boys, is that they light the... They flash when you're decently close to them. So if we look at him right here, yeah, that torch is going on and off. You'll notice it's more profound with some of these other ones. So if we get closer to... Like the ones that aren't lit up already. So if you come right over here, it'll turn on and off. So that'll tell you, A, you're close enough for it to spawn, but also, you know, it's just what some uh, boys do in real life. Oh boy, thank you for the explosion. I'm really glad we have uh, some blast resistance. We actually have a lot of blast resistance. I just want to get this right here. And then of course that chest right there that I didn't notice before. There's a lot of chests you might not normally notice. And we're not even going to find all of them. We'll, we'll definitely find all the emeralds, but that's it. We're not going to find all the little secrets here and there. There's some in the waterfalls too. Which are of course a painstaking process to get up. So, I don't want to have to deal with that. Nope, nope, nobody, nope, nope. Oh, they're not a one-hit kill after all. Hmm. Going down into errors. Oh, yeah, we need to kill the block above. Try to get in. Lots and lots of XP bottles. Oh, I see. So there's a creeper spawner up there. I just want to take a quick glance around this island to see if there's anything. Doubt it, but it doesn't hurt to check. Especially since we're pretty much out of stamina now. I can't remember if there's a place where we can make stamina potions. If we can, that would be great. I'm pretty sure there is later on. But that's later on. Okay. Oh, did we get this chest? This looks like a pretty obscure chest right here. And this is why you want to burn stuff down. <laughs> you, you miss stuff like this otherwise. Put a torch there to say we've done it. Still take a bit of fall damage, but not enough to be concerned. I wonder if there's anything in that tree. Probably. Really should have... And a pearled over to it. Did we get you? I, yeah, we did. Now the question is, where to from here? I really do want to check out this fella right here. I do want to burn this tree down too. But I don't have anything that could light it on fire. Let's go back to the big ship. Oh, there's dispensers here, and they have nothing in them. Yeah, I considered putting stuff in them. As with all dispensers, you see it all in MC Edit. Like in MC Edit, you can go in and you can see where all the chests are, you can see where all the droppers and whatnot are. But, you know, how obscure is it, is the question. I, I mean, I've put stuff in really obscure places in this map, as you'll see in this area. Our pulsar's almost dead. Let's go ahead and put some of this away. Yeah, we need a deeper pulsar. Let's go ahead and put all of the purple mist in here. Because the only place we can really use it is with, is with this guy. Alright, let's 
So this clock is going. Yeah, so this clock is going. Alright, descent score. Right, what's our descent score? Descent score. We're at one right now. So it's supposed to teleport us to here, but only if we have a descent score of zero. So let's go ahead and put ourselves to zero, and then we should teleport. And then Cause this is supposed to activate, and this is supposed to run that region. Are these command blocks not activated? Hmm, I'm pretty sure this is not activating. Yep, that's very strange. What is keeping the redstone wires activated? Perfect. Scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar. Ah, derps. It's capital derps, okay. Perfect. Man, that was weird. That was so weird that that wasn't working properly. Nope, 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 nope. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the horses currently aren't working. I wonder if all the armor stands are broken for some reason. Hmm. It's very strange. Yeah, because this thing's not activating down here. Oh, I really shouldn't be in game mode 3 and doing with angelic boots. Okay, let's just go back. This is very strange. Is so strange, man. Everything's broken. This map is so broken. So as I've, you know, I wish I had more testing. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm not going to fix it anymore. It's leaving this map the way it is. Don't care for it much anymore. All right. I need a helmet that has fire protection. We can make one, of course. They probably should make it a legendary helmet too. Unless we have, we should, can wear a special helmet. Like the sea urchin head, which is protection five. Do we have anything more? Protection four. Ooh, this one has fire protection and whatnot. Has less speed, but it also has attack damage and knockback resistance. Flame shield's nice. Nate's head, which is just a bunch of special effects. Or the beacon of hope. I don't know, man. This is a tough decision. I do like the flame shield. It does sacrifice a bit of speed, though. So, oh, we probably should leave one of these for later. So we're still pretty fast, I'd say, but we do have the 
And we're not even we're not even using a speed potion right now, which is something to consider. But we have fire, lots of fire protection and some projectile protection, blast protection. We could use some more projectile protection. Oh, never mind. We have some on our pants. So we are set for all sorts of different types of protections. The only thing that's going to break is our chest plate. That's good. All right. Let's go some special items. This is very special. Go in there. Basic harpoon gun. So we have some bows now that are unique. Portable docks. We really don't need the portable docks right now. And that's because. We already have a uh, depth strider. What else did we want to do? Our bow is a bit outdated, but that's okay. We'll get a better one soon. We need potions. We need so many potions. Speed. We are running out of speed right now. So I'm just going to take one and take some more blocks. There we go. Very good. Is that all we need? I think so. Beautiful. Let's go.